Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We have the doctor in the house. Yes. Our resident doctor, Dr. Dave Montgomery, is here. And he's answering most of your pressing health questions in a segment we're calling Ask Dr. Dave. Hey, Please hey. welcome Dr. Dave. Yay. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. You got your scrubs on. You got my scrubs. Go. Had to look the part today. You got to okay. look the part. Right. You, know, you got to right. let the people know that you are an MD. I'm a real MD. I don't just so say what we're, we're going to bring some questions up that some of our viewers have. Yeah. Yes. And then you can just... Give them all the tea, Dr. Yeah, let's, yes. let's get going. So here yeah. we go. Let's pull up the first one. Am I, am I more at risk for heart disease due to my genes, family history, or my lifestyle choices? Ooh, that's a good one. Mm, that's love a really, love really, really good 79. one. And so, so the me. answer to this is a really good question. Yes. Loving you, 79. Um, so it turns out that both things can be uh, uh, important, right? Okay. So there are people who run marathons that have heart attacks. There are people who, on the other hand, have genes in their family for heart disease and don't ever get heart disease. Here is the concept that everybody needs to understand. Go to your doctor, put your full risk assessment together, mm. and then see what yours is, right? So not one or the other is more important, mm. right? You gotta, you gotta go figure out what your individual risk is. Correct. Not one size fits all. Correct, right? correct. Okay, okay. Well, what else all right, we got with here? that being said, let's move on. All right, my blood pressure has been low at my, uh, low at my last three doctor's appointments, and I experienced dizziness several times a week. I have been eating a, a vegan diet uh, since last year. Could that have something to do with it? Uh, that's, mm -hmm. so, so kudos to you. It's probably her vegan diet. The change mm. in her diet that's making her blood pressure lower, right? Because yeah. when, you, when, you, when you tend to eat vegan, you eat less salt. Yes. Yeah. Probably her yeah. blood pressure is going down from that. Let me, so, so here's the point, though. Dizziness several times a week, that's not normal. Oh, okay. okay. Right? Yeah. You need to, to make sure that, that uh, we know what the cause of this is. Remember, Institute of Medicine said 75% of us walking around dehydrated. Yeah. She could also be dehydrated. Wow. Here's what I want her to do. I want her to take her blood pressure at home. I want her to take it lying, sitting, standing. Three minutes in between each. Mm -hmm. If her blood pressure drops 20 points, then you've got a real problem and you need to go see the doctor. Okay. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. That's yeah. really good advice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, let's see what else we got. Never had an elevated BP in life. I do not use a lot of salt. Now at 52, I'm being monitored because my BP has been around 139 over 90 mm -hmm. for the last year. Is this normal with age? Yeah, so, so what's the answer to that? I mean, Ooh. we know the answer is no. No, but here, not here's not But here's a really important point. There are a lot of 50-something-year-old mm -hmm. women who are going to have this experience, and the reason is menopause, as it turns out. Oh. Menopause, when that source of estrogen sort of gets withdrawn, estrogen is very protective for women before yeah. menopause. When menopause goes away, blood pressure goes up, cholesterol goes oh, up. Wow. Risk factors for women go way, wow. way up. Dr. Okay. Dave, yeah. I have a quick question for you in reference yeah. to this. Yeah. Could she take a supplement, an estrogen supplement? Oh, that is a really good question. You really need to be in consultation with your mm. doctors, and unless you really have a good reason for estrogen uh, supplement, yeah. okay. you don't take it for this reason. Mm -mm. There's a okay. big, big study called the Women's Heart Initiative that showed <laughs> when you take supplemental estrogen, mm. put it on your skin, take it by mouth, you actually do more harm than good. Mm -hmm. All right, it's guys, do we hear that? natural estrogen mm -hmm. that the key is, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So be careful. Talk to your doctors about and that. And could stress be a factor at 52? Absolutely. No question about it. Stress can be a factor at Maybe any age. Maybe there's a change in job. There's no question about it. Stress mm -hmm. can be a factor at any age and certainly could play a role in her heart. All right, we're going to move on with our next question here. We're yeah. talking about heart palpitations. How many heart palpitation yeah. episodes would you consider excessive in a day? When should you seek medical attention if yeah. you aren't experiencing many other life-threatening symptoms, such as shortness of breath? Hmm. That's yeah. a good one. So, so the answer is zero, right? So palpitations, um, although they're very common, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're not normal. They're showing that something's going on. Most of the time it's benign in young, healthy women, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a benign thing. But if you are having other symptoms, you need to talk to your doctor. UPS, yeah. remember, UPS, unusual, prolonged, severe, no matter mm, what the like symptom that. is. Mm. UPS, you go talk to your doctor, get it sorted out. Let us be the judge of it, yeah. right? Mm. Not Google, WebMD. <laughs> I know, that's right. What are you paying yeah. health insurance no, no, no. for if you're not going to utilize yeah, it? Yeah, yes, that's true. right. That's it. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we got up here. Do we have any more? No, we have nothing else. Well... I'm very, very excited that yes. you're here today and talk about to talk about this because we don't get to talk about this all the time. So mm -hmm. this is a this is a blessing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank well, you so listen, much, it's Dave. so good to have you here with us in your Always scrubs today. Because yeah. he never wears a scrub. I just had yeah. to highlight that you look good in your scrubs. Thanks.